Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. Now this video tutorial is for server owners. Maybe you've got a local server on your local PC or a remote community server such as a Nitrado one where you've installed the Daisy expansion mod but you haven't got this. You haven't got the various traders. This is the one at Green Mountain. Maybe you've just got this fella here and that fella there but you haven't got any of this other wonderful stuff and that's because you haven't installed the trader config files uh, which you need to do to get them to work and they're not included in the vanilla install which is a bit of a pain so in the description below this video you'll find a link to this github repository daisy expansion missions now you should have come across this already because not only does it include the trader setup files but it also includes the extra uh, CE the actual set extra central economy files so the extra bits of types and events and spawnable types and event spawns so if you haven't done that then there's a chance that your um, daisy expansion experience will not be the complete one so anyway so go to this link anyway and download the zip and extract it onto your hard drive somewhere um, and then find it and when you extract it you go into this folder here and what you want to do is go through the readme's um, let's open these up so we can have a look at them plus plus and basically um, this explains how to install these extra central economy items and how to install the trader stuff it also says look by the way on these particular maps we haven't done any trader locations yet so you're gonna have to do them yourself uh, <laughs> which is fair enough and uh, the readme underscore tutorial this is the one that has the instructions about how to set up your trader if you haven't set up the CE stuff that's in that part of here so what you'll want to do is have access to your server via um, FTP um, and what I'll do in a second I'll show you how to do it on a local server as well but we're just going to do the remote server first so we want to have access to our server via FTP um, and then what you want to do is you need to find out where you have uh, got these files so what you want to do is if you left click up here in the address bar that will give you the address of where these are on your computer so you can right click copy that go into your FTP program and on the left hand side up here you can and this is FileZilla by the way you can left click here and you can paste press enter and that will take us to where these files are which is great okay and then if we go down we can see we've got template incomplete generous expansion and objects and if we read what it says it says how to make your mission daisy expansion market compatible inside your mission add the folder expansion from the template if this folder doesn't exist from the template the desired map, create a folder expansion. Inside this new folder, create two folders called Object and Traders. Um, yes, the init.c part has been removed. The way that we used to put traders and different changes onto expansion was by fiddling with init.c, but you don't need to do that anymore. So, you can actually do this a little bit easier. So, on your remote server, so if you um, connect to it, and then go into the missions, and then go into Chernus and then go into expansion so that down here we've got the various folders you'll see that I've already done it you've got traders and objects here but if you haven't got these folders if the installation of expansion hasn't put them there what you can then do is all you need to do is just left click on here make sure that that's selected there left click on there right click upload do the same with traders and that will automatically put them into this bit here then all you need to do is go to your server, restart it, and your server will then have the traders in the various different places all over the map. Remember, you can just hit M when you spawn in. It shows you where the traders are. However, if you're using expansion bundle and or you're, well, or you're doing the separate expansion stuff um, and you've got expansion hardline installed as well, what that will do is it will mean you can only use the traders when you've re reached a certain reputation. You know in the bottom right hand corner um, there's normally the reputation bit if you can see that it's like um, anyways next to the next to the cross so you may well want to turn that off. In order to turn it off all we need to do 
is you just need to go to into your in your uh, MP missions in expansion. You see you've got settings, so click into here, and then you will have hardline settings. So select that, right click it, and go view and edit, and that should open it up in your uh, local text editor. And then you just go down to use reputation, um, and you can change that. It's probably one at the moment. Change it to zero save it go back to your FTP program your FTP program will then say this file has changed you want me to upload it and you say yes you upload it you go to your server restart your server and then you will have a lovely trader that you can trade with and have lots of fun with so there we go that my friend is how you get trader work on your remote server now I did say I was going to show you how to do it on a local server as well didn't I um, so basically all you need to do with that is here is my local server here and then in this folder here we have got those bits so all we need to do is go into template go into Chernerus, go into expansion copy those two bits there copy go to my local server go into the missions go into Chernerus plus go into expansion paste those as you can see I've already done that, so we've got traders there, we've got objects there and then the only th th other thing to do would be to go into uh, expansion, go into settings right click hardline settings change use represent you, you change use reputation, it's easy for me to say if I can select the right bit, there it is, change use reputation to zero or Leave it at one if you want to use the reputation system. Save that, uh, restart the server, and we would be good to go. Okay, hopefully you found this video useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.